There's a bit of good news on the horizon for those of you that are fans of e-scooters. And for those of you that are not fans of e-scooters, there's a bit of bad news on the horizon for you. Because in the Queen's speech, there was talk of new transport legislation, which would allow limited use of e-scooters for the general public, so long as they meet certain requirements. And just as a heads up to the keyboard warriors, there is a sponsored portion of this video, so be ready to type your comments. At present, an e-scooter, which is just a scooter that is powered by a lithium ion battery, typically, is considered to be a motor vehicle and therefore it's not allowed on the roads unless it meets certain conditions which at present they broadly do not. So apart from the official trial schemes in various locations it is not currently legal to use these e-scooters on a public road or other public place. Even with the official trials which are taking place in over 30 areas, there are certain requirements still which include holding a driving license. As for the planned legislation, on the 27th of April of this year, 2022, the Transport Secretary told the House of Commons Transport Committee that the government planned to introduce new legislation which would allow the government to regulate e-scooters. This would mean that e-scooters that meet certain conditions, such as speed and power and lights and so on, may well come within this new legislation and therefore be legal for people to buy and use on public streets. Incorporated within this, however, is going to be what the government called a crackdown on the private market and make it illegal to sell e-scooters which don't meet certain regulatory standards. Lord Rosser in the House of Lords said that e-scooters could have much to offer. They could provide a safe, relatively cheap and environmentally friendly method of transport. However, also argued that the government needed to ensure that there were relevant and appropriate regulations in place to make sure that the safety concerns were addressed. And there are of course some very real reasons why safety concerns need to be addressed because the official government figures show that in the year 2020 to 21 there were 931 casualties and three fatalities involving e-scooters doubtless because some of them simply might not be used properly and some of them might be far too powerful to be considered safe on the roads much like the video I showed you just the other day where someone was doing 50 miles an hour on the motorway on one of these e-scooters. I hope it goes without saying that that is not how they should be used. But if this legislation does come to fruition and provide certain regulatory requirements such as power and speed and lights and things like this and perhaps even a registration system for the e-scooter so that you know who the registered keeper is, much like a normal vehicle. So if there is a collision involving an e-scooter, it would be easy to find out who is responsible for it, who's the registered keeper, and therefore in the same way as a normal vehicle, perhaps they could nominate the rider as they would nominate the driver of a vehicle in the event of a collision. I personally think they are going to be a fantastic method of transport around cities, provided that they are used properly and safely, much like a bicycle or an electrically assisted bicycle. So whilst they can't currently be used legally out in public, unless they're part of one of these schemes, they can be enjoyed on private land. And I, for one, have been doing just that around my garden with an e-scooter that I've been sent from AOVO, which I will link in the description. It's an AOVO M1 Pro electric scooter, ultra light folding scooter, so I'm going to be ready for when this legislation comes in so I can use it to get to and from the courts, from the train stations. But in the meantime, I have to enjoy it in my garden. So here's the unboxing, first of all, and in a future video, I'll show you me zooming around the garden with it. Enjoy. Mm -hmm. 